we are in the Maasai Mara, which borders the Serengeti in Tanzania. I was fortunate to have my camera aimed right at the spot where a leopard ran right in front of us. We thought he was chasing a gazelle, but it turns out he was being chased by a baboon. No picture of the baboon, sorry. Driving through the savanna, we came across a cheetah with her cubs. They were moving from our right to our left and seemed to be just enjoying the stroll. Suddenly she turned, she hid her cubs in the bushes behind and she saw off to her right an antelope. And then she closed in for the kill, moving so quickly that this was the last picture we got until she salvaged her prey on the hill and rested. Cheetahs are successful hunters. They kill their prey a little over half of the time, but they don't always get to hang on to their meal. 10% of cheetah kills are stolen by lions and hyenas. Cheetahs are also known to abandon their food as soon as they spot another predator. She rested a while, and you can see she was quite winded after that short chase. And after a breather, she called her cubs. Her cubs soon joined her and she escorted them over to where she had deposited lunch. She rested again while the cubs played and 
and she kept the watch. Then keeping a constant eye out for any other predators, she dragged her prey over under a bush where she could keep her cubs somewhat safe from hyenas, leopards, lions, or other predators. After a long while, three or four white-backed vultures showed up in the trees and circling overhead. From start to finish, this was over an hour and a half of stalking and feasting. If you look closely at these two pictures, you can see thousands of little tiny bugs that the baboons are chasing. Note the little ox pecker on top of the Cape Buffalo. They eat blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> 